Hey friends, welcome back to Daily Sews and Stuff. I'm Braylon Daly and today I am so excited to bring you a preview of what you can do with the new program called Projecting Cuts. If you watched my last video, I did an interview with the amazing designer of this software. Uh, his name is Clinton and he is a member of Projectors for Sewing. He's a projector sewist himself and he saw a need and wrote a program to solve the problem. It is mind blowing guys. I encourage you to go back and watch the interview and see the behind the scenes process of how we got here. But now I am so excited to show you just how simple it is to actually use. A few caveats and things to say quickly before I go ahead and show you this amazing program. Number one, the version that I am showing you is an alpha tester version, and so it will not look exactly like what will be released to you. What you will get will be even better. And as Clinton said in our interview, which you can go watch if you haven't seen, he intends to do improvements along the way and hopes to add layers functionality into that. But right now, number two, there is no layer functionality. So this is a pattern that I have already run through PDF Stitcher, isolated the size that I need, taken to Affinity Designer, lengthened, because it's not for me. If it was for me, we would be shortening, but you know, life's not fair. Um, and done all of the different things that I typically do before I project. Those are even more important to do here with Project and Cut, just because it doesn't have that ability to isolate layers. You know, when I have a layered file in Adobe, I don't always run it through PDF Stitcher first. I just, 95% of the time, go ahead and do that anyways. I want this to be a fairly quick, although I've spent this long talking already, um, demonstration of just how awesome this program is rather than a fully in-depth how-to of this program, especially because this isn't necessarily exactly what the program will look like for you because it's still the tester version. And with all of that said, let's get into it. So right here, you're looking at my projector screen um, in an extended version. And I'm going to go ahead and show you a couple of things really fast. And then I'll actually show you what it looks like projected. So I'm going to open Project and Cut. And I'm going to slide it over here to my extended screen. And I'm going to go ahead and it already was make it um, full screen. The first thing you'll see is a tutorial video link which you can click on and see, and he's got some instructions here written for you. Definitely worth reading, but I'm just gonna, I'm just kind of taking you through this program. You've got file open and exit. You've got edit, undo and redo. Uh, view, you can toggle full screen, which is control F, which here, let's, oh. Um, which just kind of gives you that. It still has, it still has some stuff there, um, which I would rather it not, but that is possibly just me personally. You see, you can rotate it, flip it and invert colors. Exciting, exciting options to have. Um, you've also got basically these four things, which are the same as these, oops, these four things right here. And then your window like this, okay? And then the help just gives you this little, little bitty about, okay. So if we go from instructions to calibration, we get this screen. Now, this is not actually what it looks like um, initially. I think it's a, it's a much smaller box initially. And you'll see that you can grab these four corners and move them around anywhere you want to. And you can um, increase that or type that. You can type, possibly, there you go. If you saw the interview and you saw what Clinton was talking about with making the plane, um, and he got very technical, but this is basically the projection mapping that makes my brain feel a little bit crazy. Um, but this is the thing, like we're, we're, we're situating this. So what you'll see me do it in a minute. We're putting these red corners in the corner of our mat and telling it, what our mat looks like to our projector so it can adjust for any skewedness. Okay, if you click on overview, 
we have to have a file in here to do it. So, so I'm gonna grab the file that I want for this and I am going to just drag and drop and get our pattern put in there. We've got the pattern put in here. This is the overview so you can see everything. Now I've got my calibration box that I always put in there to just double check things. I've got my pattern put in there. Um, and then if you click on the projection, this will make more sense in a minute, but basically this is just showing you um, this. And so because I have told the computer that it needs to skew my pattern with this calibration, you can see that this looks super skewed on my screen. But if this was a correct calibration, then even though this looks skewed on my screen, it would look perfect on my projector. I'm gonna now show you what all of that means by turning on my projector and, and giving you kind of an overhead shot um, of what I'm doing. Here is where I originally showed this on my already calibrated projector before I realized it would be a much better demonstration on a not calibrated projector. So I cut all that footage, but may reference it a bit in the next part. I'm now set up my old 455 on the floor. Um, it is not on its stand. It is just on the floor. My mat is not really square to my projector. Um, my projector is not level. If you can see, this side has a bump underneath, so it's taller than the other side. You may not be able to see that, and I got you on a tripod, so I can't quickly fix that uh, to show you any differently. But that's how it's all set up right now. Um, so they're not, nothing is square, nothing is level, nothing is ready to go. I'm going to turn off the light and show you a little bit better. This 455 is not as bright as my 595 that I was using a minute ago. So now we can see a little bit better how this mat and this light <laughs> are not square to each other, but it's going to be fine. So let's look at this. Now, first of all, things went a little haywire whenever I went to change things and connect over here. That's not a problem. I can right click and reset alignment and I get to start over. So I'm going to grab this guy and I'm just going to go with the lines on the very outside of my mat. I'm going to do just like I did before and grab this and get close with my mouse and then I will use my keyboard to fine tune things. You can also see on the computer screen in the little corner in the bottom left, how that does not look perfectly square and wonderful in chef's kiss the way that it does on the projected image. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at a pattern. I'll have to bring it back in. Drag and drop, super easy. If you look on the computer screen in that bottom left, you will see that this rectangle is not a rectangle. <laughs> it is a quadrilateral shape. But if you look at it on the mat, you will see that that is a beautiful rectangle that's exactly the right shape. This on the computer screen, not right. On the projected image, perfect. Uh, 3 to 33 is 30, and 2 to 22 is 20. So I would be able to just go ahead now and, and, and cut this pattern. Even though my projector is not square to my map, is not square to the floor, I have no idea if my floor is level or not. Everything is skewed and wonky, and you can tell because that light over there is still skewed and wonky. It's, it's not good, except for... It is. It's brilliant. It is done and I can cut. I've already made two projects with Project and Cut. This is my third that I've begun working on with you guys. And I just have to say it is such 
an awesome program. It takes all of the guesswork, all of the complication, and hopefully all of the dread out of calibration. If you have been sitting on the fence with a projector in a box or not quite ready to pull the trigger on the projector yet, now's your chance. This solves so many problems for you. If you combine Project and Cut with PDF Stitcher, you're like 75% of the way there when it comes to projector sewing. You are doing so many awesome and incredible things and you hardly ever need to touch paper anymore. If you're a little bit worried about your pattern adjustment still, I have an entire playlist about Affinity Designer and many other makers out there have a playlist on Inkscape where you can learn how to do digital pattern adjustments and get you 100% of the way doing absolutely everything you can projector sewing. It's come to this side with us. We are having so much fun here and we are not printing anymore and we are not having to store paper patterns. We are able to go so quickly from buying a pattern to cutting and sewing. Stay tuned for more videos about projecting cut, affinity designer, and all the other projector sewing things. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and all the things so that you will be notified whenever I have more videos about projector sewing. I can't wait to see you there. Bye friends. Okay, so watching my videos, like, subscribe, and comment.